guys, it's the Kawaii Tone. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some tips for learning Japanese fast. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. <laughs> I'm going to be reading off a list from my phone because um, I had so many ideas and I thought that it would be best if I organized them in the list. So the first tip regards um, learning kanji. So I really, really find um, writing kanji on a um, notebook with small little squares to be extremely, extremely helpful. Um, when I was living in Japan, it was the only way that I found that I could really learn kanji because it made it a lot easier to do it that way um, because it was kind of like some the hand memorization, if that makes sense. So I would memorize the strokes because each kanji has a special stroke pattern and I kept writing it over and over again and um, it made it really easy to remember. Of course, it's not the only tip, but if you are starting off with kanji and you really have no idea where to start, definitely writing them over and over again is really going to be helpful. I know it might be kind of annoying to be writing it over and over again, but trust me, it's really going to help you and you're going to memorize it a lot faster. Now, another tip regarding kanji is to write um, Japanese in a big piece of paper. So when I was in Japan, I also struggled with kanji. So me and my sister had some tutoring um, to learn kanji mainly just on that she grabbed a bunch of papers like scratch paper gave us markers and we had to write down the kanji so she would show it on a board and then we would have to write the strokes and for some reason because it was on a larger paper we really could visualize um, each stroke um, and it made it a lot easier for us to see this character because sometimes when you're writing it really small it's hard to see the character or to see its individual parts because each part of a kanji usually has a special meaning so I really really recommend you guys to um, definitely write kanji on large pieces of paper you can get a notebook um, and you can keep writing kanji over and over again it can be one kanji a day be one kanji a month it doesn't matter it's gonna be really really helpful another really helpful tip is to use flashcards so um, usually when I'm studying um, Japanese with my sister or we have a quiz coming up we love to use flashcards and you can use this for vocabulary you can use this for the conjugation of a certain word uh, for example tabemas to taberu different forms um, if you are learning Japanese you will understand what I'm referring to but um, it doesn't really matter if you're learning new vocabulary in Japanese. It can be simple vocabulary like Ohayo gozaimasu, good morning, um, or keki, which means cake. Just different vocabulary. Um, it's going to be really, really helpful because you're going to be hearing it. You can also do it with a friend. Um, it can be a lot more fun. Or you can honestly do it on your own. You can be reading, okay, how do I say house in Japanese? And you can be thinking about that and then turn it around and it's uchi. Um, and it's also a really great experience because you can actually be writing down the characters without realizing you can also be studying Japanese because whenever you you write something um, it's easier for your brain to um, really understand it to really memorize it and if you're really artsy you can draw like little designs next tip is to um, watch other Japanese youtubers and listen to the way that they speak so most Japanese youtubers will speak in the normal more um, casual way of speaking Japanese um, and it's real Japanese that you will use when you go to Japan so um, it's really really helpful and you can catch on to certain words that you may have learned already through your vocabulary or through studying Japanese. Um, I know a lot of YouTubers always start their videos with Minasa konnichiwa, blank this. Um, so you fill in your name there and practically what they're saying is hello everyone, it's so and so. And it's a really, really great phrase um, because you probably will understand certain parts of it. Um, you are learning Japanese, you might know how to already introduce yourself. So um, by looking at these YouTubers, they'll be using certain words that you already know and it makes learning a lot more fun because you really feel like you are improved. I'll be leaving a link in the description box below of some of my favorite um, Japanese YouTubers. They are mainly YouTubers who focus on makeup and hair and all that cute stuff um, and Lolita fashion just because that's kind of what I prefer. But if you're not into that, and you're into different stuff regarding Japanese. I know there's a lot of really good um, uh, YouTubers in Japan who uh, focus on comedy. But yeah, it's really, really great and you're gonna be able to listen to um, a native speaker. The next tip I really recommend you guys to do is to get some apps for learning Japanese. So um, I really like the apps like Duolingo, Drops, and Challenge Aaron. So Duolingo is great, I think, if you already know um, some Japanese. Um, it does show you some different complicated kanji at times or expects you to already know um, a lot of vocabulary so if you are still a complete beginner maybe Duolingo isn't the best but it could maybe push you to learn um, Japanese fast um, but yeah I like to do that now because I kind of have a basic knowledge of Japanese already I already know hiragana and katakana a basic um, knowledge and vocabulary so it's really helpful for me um, another app that I really recommend is Challenge Aaron and it's extremely extremely helpful with your beginner um, at Japanese so um, once you sign in um, 
Um, it takes you to kind of like you're a student um, and it says you're starting school in April because schools in Japan do start in April and they teach you uh, first a bunch of vocabulary at first um, and it's kind of like this memorizing game um, and you have to like match the cards and then they explain to you um, what the vocabulary word is um, and they're kind of like flashcards um, which is really really great. Once you've learned that they have a cultural lesson where they teach you something related to Japan. Uh, for example, I believe the first lesson talks to you about um, how you would um, refer to your teachers in the morning. So you would say, Ohayo gozaimasu. And you also have to speak on your actual phone um, to say the word and it'll tell you if you're saying it correctly or not. So it's really, really helpful. And then after that, um, in that same lesson, they give you like a small test um, regarding it. So it tells you a test on the vocab. What does this mean? Um, and it's really, really helpful. It's, it's a great, great tool for beginners who are just being introduced to Japanese. The next tip that I really recommend for you guys to do is to learn your hiragana and katakana. It's extremely important that you focus on that first if you are a beginner at Japanese. And the reason why I say this is, for example, if you're looking up um, a certain conjugation for a word, like I said, tabemas, um, and you want to conjugate to taberu, right? Um, you want to change those. Um, and you're asking this question, how to do the conjugation of this, this, and that, um, it's usually going to show up, um, the answer will show up in, um, in hiragana or katakana. And if you don't know how to read Japanese, then it's going to be really hard for you to um, really engage in the learning. So I really recommend you guys to learn hiragana and katakana first because trust me, it's going to be extremely, extremely helpful. Another tip that I recommend you guys to do is to get Japanese books, um, preferably maybe children's books. If you are just a beginner at Japanese like I am, um, you might not be able to read this complicated um, novel in Japanese because they use a lot of kanji, uh, but definitely children's books are the best. Um, and then get maybe a magazine. So I'm obsessed with the brand Pop or the the magazine pop teen so um, I do have one um, and I like to read um, the hiragana or katakana or whatever I can uh, because it's extremely helpful to see it and to be practicing my Japanese that way you can also look up manga online to see if there's any like easy elementary style manga or you can go to your local Japanese uh, bookstore like Kinokuniya bookstore and um, look for a book that suits your needs or is at your level also I recommend you guys to watch Japanese TV shows or cartoons such as anime um, it's also gonna be really really helpful Although I did learn from my Japanese teacher that anime isn't exactly the best just because, for example, in a magical themed anime or supernatural anime, they might use some words that are just meant for the show that um, have nothing to do with actual Japanese or the vocabulary they use. Um, and you might not be able to distinguish the, the differences. Um, so you're going to learn that word and Japanese people might be like, um, what are you referring to? So um, sometimes anime isn't the best, but they do use your general phrases of Ohayo gozaimasu, um, which means means good morning or sumimasen which means excuse me or um, gomen nasai which means sorry so these are your basic phrases that you use in Japanese and you probably will see it in anime so it's sometimes good because um, you will catch on to certain words and you'll feel really excited because you're finally understanding some Japanese or understanding a little bit of what you're watching. I also recommend for you guys to watch um, TV shows um, that are Japanese such as a good morning call I know it's a really popular um, TV show that's on Netflix I've watched it with my little sister and I absolutely love it um, you can actually put subtitles um, in Japanese Japanese, so maybe you can read off of that if you're a little bit more advanced or you just want to read a little bit You can do that as well or you can take off all the subtitles and try to see um, and catch what words you understand um, So that's gonna be really really helpful as well Another tip is to um, listen to Japanese music and to sing to Japanese songs such as maybe anime openings You can look up the lyrics in um, Romaji or you can look them up in Hiragana and Katakana And you can start reading off of the of the screen and it's gonna be really helpful more for your pronunciation of Japanese um, I think I have a pretty decent pronunciation in Japanese because I do speak Spanish so I feel like the pronunciation is very similar um, but if you are struggling really with finding the right pronunciation then definitely sing Japanese songs because naturally you're gonna want to sound exactly like the artist it's gonna be really really helpful for that pronunciation the last tip I have for you guys is to um, get little sticky notes or sticky pads and um, put them on certain objects that they relate to for example you can write the word hon and you can write it on a little sticky pad um, and then you can stick it on a book that you have um, and you can keep seeing it over and over again and it's gonna be really helpful because for example if you're a visual learner like I am it's gonna be extremely helpful because you're gonna be seeing that character over and over again you can also write it in kanji and you can immediately see okay well there's a book next to the sticky note that's what it means and you're gonna be able to easily identify the kanji or the character or be able to read off of it and know well hon means book because it was stuck to the book that you had so um, it's gonna be extremely extremely helpful I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I had a lot of fun making it for you guys if you guys want me to do another video on some tips for learning Japanese
Japanese um, maybe unlearning hiragana and katakana like for me actually to write them for you guys um, then please let me know in the comment section down below I know it can be a little bit hard a little bit discouraging when you feel like you don't know any Japanese you feel like you're not making any progress so if you guys want me to do more um, Japanese learning uh, related videos um, then please let me know in the comment section down below um, I love doing these types of videos because I'm also learning Japanese I hope to be fluent in Japanese um, so that I can live in Japan again um, it is my dream so yeah maybe we can go on this journey together don't forget to follow me at Kifutago on my Instagram. I post a lot of really cute pictures of my time living in Japan, um, as well as a story highlight that I have there um, dedicated to some stuff that we did when we were in Japan that we might not have done videos on. So you guys can definitely check that out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Me and my sister really want to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. Um, it's really our dream. We are really, really happy for all the different people who have already subscribed to us. This family is growing little by little and I'm really, really excited. And we just want to make videos for you guys make you guys happy so thank you guys so much for subscribing and for being part of the family thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys